the salon industry today is still an issue, okay? It's called one race human. Hair has no race, okay? So if you can't do anybody who walks in the door, you can't pay back your damn loan, 24000 for the Paul Mitchell School. So mm -hmm. let's be real clear that hair is hair, okay? A bob is a bob. I don't care if it's straight hair, curly hair, it doesn't matter. Okay. And I'm a hair colorist, which is probably the highest profit margin in the salon. Okay. So then I opened the salon in Cranford. I have to get a variance because the strip mall that it was in was What's zoned. a variance for anybody watching? Variance is that you have to change the zoning. So it was a strip mall and it was zoned uh, retail and not service. Okay. So I went and hired the attorney that represented the city of Cranford where I was trying to get the variance. <laughs> Because I knew he'd probably play golf with the judge. <laughs> we got the variance. We opened the salon. Uh, and of course, owning a salon is like running a nightclub. You got 17 staff. Ultimately, I ended up with a staff of like 42 people. Four receptionists. How many chairs did you have in your salon? 12. So where did 42 people come in at? Oh my God, I had four receptionists. I had six assistants. I had two massage and skin people. I had 17 stylists. Had was, was this your vision all along or as you were working at the other salons, you were saying, whoa, I do here great. This was my vision all along. Okay, beautiful. Okay. Most people don't start out with 150 grand to invest in themselves. I know. It's a question for you. I'm gangster. Did <laughs> did this hundred and fifty grand allow you to just open the doors? Yes, it allowed me to just open the doors. So the people who came and worked, they were working, renting their chairs, renting their space from. Well, hell no, that was way. Brenton only became legal in the last couple of years. These were staff. Two of them were friends of mine that wanted to come from another salon. I had Danny Sang, who was Chinese. I had John Ryan, with, who was a curly hair Irish guy. I had Debbie Acevedo, who was Puerto Rican. I had Tiffany, who was black. I had Grace, who was from the Caribbean. We, I had like, we get that it was one race human. One race human. And you, they, you live they, they, got, they, made, they got paid. OK, so let me, keep, let me go on. First year in business, because we were so unique. Mm -hmm. for that community that these women from this community came and socialized with black women from surrounding communities. And we would serve wine and food. And I'd be like, okay, y'all, it's 10 o'clock. You've been here since six. <laughs> Your hair's been done since seven. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> so it was interesting because it became like this social environment where people really got to like socialize with people that they would never normally just be chilled with. And it was like, like I said, it's like running a damn club. Anyway, our second year of business, we did $1.7 million. Stop I, for a second. Wow. <laughs> you opened up your salon, $150,000 in capital you raised. Yep, that was just for the fit out, the build out. That was the build out. Yep, I didn't have no working capital. Had zero working capital. But I had a, a t I had a client base at about four thousand dollars a week in revenue. That you came into the salon with. That I bought, and I bought two other stylists that I knew with similar. That that was when you came in to work for me. First thing we did was set up a goal. So I would take them through a whole training program. They'd start at the ball, eighteen months skill certification, and then it was all about the goal. Okay, how much do you want to make? I trained the entire Empire Beauty School chain. When I would, this, so, okay, these are all beauty school students, okay? They pay a lot of money to go to this school. I would say to them, how much money do you want to make? First, the first question I'd say is, how many do you want to own your own salon? So they'd all raise their hand. i say, so does anybody know the profit margin in the salon business? And they'd all have like the Curious George look. Okay, I get it. If no one's trained you in that area, how would you know that? Mm -hmm. Because it looks very sexy. Okay, but there are a lot of things you need to know. Okay, so I would go through this whole exercise with my staff, like I would do when I trained Empire way later on. 
How much money do you want to make? How many days do you want to work? You want to work four days? You want to make a hundred grand? How many oh. hours were you putting in a week? Oh God, a, a lot. A and lot. the reason I ask this is because people, they think Probably 70. about 70 hours? At least. It, it makes sense. I mean, as an entrepreneur, yeah. you are opening, you're closing, you're sweeping, right. you, you're cleaning the mirrors, you're doing everything. Right. People think that this is an easy journey, easy journey, and it's not. They just see the success. They don't see all that happens behind the scenes. How much did your salon, you told me what you guys grossed um, in revenues after two years. Year one, what did Net you- Or gross. Excuse so me? Like grossed. Gross. I'm assuming that 1.7 after two years was gross. That was gross, okay. After, after so, year one, um, do you remember what you guys made? Probably close to a million. So out of the box, you had a kick-ass idea. This was working. You knew you were on to something. Yeah, listen, my, the people that I trained as stylists, I'm like, look, we you're going to get paid. Or you ain't working here, period. So I am, my job is to teach you how to kick ass and understand. So for instance, I'll back up a little bit, and then we'll get to the knit. So when I would train the Empire Beauty School students, I would say, how much you want to make? I want to make a hundred grand. Okay. hundred grand is net 2000 a week. Okay. How many days you want to work? I want to work four days. Okay. So now let's back in to you and work from 10 to seven. Okay. What services are you going to offer and how long did they take? Oh, well, I want to do the hair weave. Okay. How much are you going to charge for that? $190. How long does that take you? Two hours? Er nope. So a big part of our revenue stream was hair color. I can apply a head of hair color and highlights in 20 minutes. I can do uh, five clients in an hour, let you sit with a ticker on your little thing. When the bell goes off, my assistant rinses you, you come back, I highlight you, I cut you, she finishes you, and you're a $250 client or a $300 client. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.